Kelly Naim schuld voor Meet in Piemont Wines. Ik ben vandaag in Gattinara, in uh, de cantina van, dus zoals het woord het zegt, Cantina del Signore. En ik ben hier samen met Stefano, die dus uh, de cantina de, le, zal uitleggen wat betreft de geschiedenis, maar ook de wijnen die hier geproduceerd worden, die zeer interessant zijn. So Stefano, I will leave you up to the four wines we have in line and the history of the cantina. Please. Okay. Thank you, uh, Karina, to, for coming. Uh, we are in Gattinara. Uh, Gattinara is uh, uh, in, the, in the northern part of uh, Piemont. We say Alto Piemonte. And we have in, uh, in my cellar that is uh, Cantina del Signore. Del Signore is the family name of my mother. So, it's an ancient uh, cellar that uh, we don't know except, exactly uh, when the wine produce, uh, producing uh, started. Uh, but for sure my grandfather and my grand-grandfather was used to produce uh, wine. Mm -hmm. uh, only one wine that uh, was called uh, Spanna. Uh, a red wine, a typical red wine uh, uh, for this area, produced with uh, Nebbiolo, that we always call Spanna, not uh, mm -hmm. Nebbiolo as uh, in Lange and uh, other uh, region. Uh, so, we restarted the production after uh, a stop. We uh, uh, always own uh, vineyards. Mm -hmm. uh, my father was used to take care about the vineyards after my grandfather stopped the, the work, the job. Mm -hmm. So I restarted the production of the wine uh, in taking the, 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 the grapes from uh, that vineyards uh, that, be, that belong to the family since long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we have uh, uh, plus or minus uh, three hectares of uh, vineyards mm -hmm. uh, on the hills of uh, Gattinara and uh, we produce uh, many different wine also if uh, we have a little production but just because uh, we we'll, uh, try to find uh, uh, and transform the, the, the grapes uh, starting from the characteristic of the grapes mm -hmm. so, uh, we have uh, uh, the vineyards in different parts of the hills mm -hmm. with different characteristics. So we look at the characteristic of the, of the grape and we try to give uh, the best value of this grape, producing the, the, the right pro product from, from that uh, mm -hmm. grapes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, then we start with the first wine being the Erbaluce di Calusso, which is a white wine. Yeah. Okay. Erbaluce is a typical grapes uh, from the northern part of uh, Piemont. It's a very old uh, uh, grape. It's, uh, I think is the most characteristic white wine in, in Piemont. Uh, also, if there are uh, different white wine uh, most known mm -hmm. in, uh, in Piemont. But uh, I think uh, f for the history of uh, this grape, uh, for sure, is, uh, a, a, I think is the, the more characteristic. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very particular grape that become uh, a little bit pink or brown on the peels uh, when, uh, when the grape uh, is... Uh, at the end of the maturation um, and that's why uh, it takes the name of Erba Luce that means uh, Luce is light no? it's uh, some, something like uh, a, a, a color that the peas uh, take from the light in the morning okay. no? mm -hmm. that's why the, the name is uh, Erba Luce this uh, white wine is produced uh, only with uh, Erba Luce, uh, we don't make uh, maceration, we press directly the, the, the grapes 
and uh, we uh, ferment the wine for 20 days at uh, a lower temperature, around uh, 80 degrees. Okay? When the sugar uh, is finished, we, we just leave uh, the wine in, uh, in the tanks, in, in the stainless steel tanks, uh, for uh, one month, and then we uh, separate the, 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 the bad thing uh, of the, uh, of the um, fermentation, and we, we put the, the wine in a clean uh, tanks. In this, during the, the, the first part of the, of, the, of the year, of the new year, we just uh, wait to, to clean a little bit of the, the wine in the stainless steel and then we bottle. But uh, we prefer always to start uh, selling this wine later than uh, other uh, white wine because uh, he has a very important characteristic in acidity. So the acidity in this wine is very high, and uh, uh, di, di, de, di, that means uh, freshness. No. Yeah. Also, if the temperature of the wine is not uh, uh, right, uh, around 10 degrees, you feel uh, in this wine a very fresh taste, a very uh, uh, fresh um, yeah. yeah taste. Uh, Let's say you have, uh, the taste they like in summer. Yeah, the taste they like in summer also because uh, during the last uh, uh, years, uh, in the last vintage, uh, thanks to the temperature of, uh, of the climate change, the climate change uh, this wine changed a little bit uh, in perfume. No? Mm -hmm. Before was uh, a lot of uh, um, lemon, uh, orange, uh, Mm -hmm. And um, Pompermo, pineapple, no. Yeah, yeah. Pompermo. Uh, yeah. Okay, Pompermo. Hmm? Okay, Pompermo. Yeah. Uh, and uh, now you can feel also some different mm, perfume. Uh, Other perfumes which are adding, yeah. Uh, yeah. let's yeah. say. Yeah. Okay. So I like it uh, very much. Uh, as an aperitivo? As an aperitivo. And, uh, and with, with uh, other dishes, which the. Famous dishes. This is uh, uh, for me the b uh, the best pairing is uh, with uh, fish, fish, but okay. uh, from the lake. Fresh from the lake. Yeah. That's, That's the difference. Different. We don't have lakes in Belgium. No. <laughs> and also river. Okay. A river. No, okay. Not yes. uh, not uh, salt water, no. Yeah. Sure. Okay. But yeah. But uh, also with. Uh, 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 gamberetti or yeah. uh, not, different fish, not very yeah. heavy, heavy fish, no? Okay. No, 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 okay. Yeah. That's very fine. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, we have also um, rosato, which is made of Nebbiolo grapes. Yeah. Okay, wait? yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. This uh, is a rosé wine, rose wine, that uh, we produce with uh, Nebbiolo grapes uh, for the, the most uh, of the parts because we have also a little bit of uh, Uvarara that uh, is a, a kind of Bonarda in, in the northern Piemont. Okay. So, um, is a, a very uh, interesting wine, I think, because uh, you, you can feel uh, all the characteristic uh, of uh, our soil mm -hmm. and uh, our okay. terroir mm -hmm. in, uh, in this wine. The minerality, the acidity, because also the viola uh, is very high in acidity, because we are uh, uh, on the, uh, on our vineyards uh, uh, has a, the so a soil that uh, is acid, without calcium. Okay. okay, is uh, the opposite uh, that uh, lang. They yeah. have uh, more more calcium and uh, and less acidity. And uh, uh, the color, the color is uh, the typical color that uh, Nebbiolo brings after uh, some months uh, in in the bottle. Mm -hmm. It become a little bit orange. No, yeah. that, uh, it's not a, an orange. They one. call it uh, onion. Onion, onion or yes. onion orange? Yes, yeah. peel, uh, the peel of onion, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. Okay. 
So we produce this wine uh, since uh, 2013, mm -hmm. and uh, the production grow a little bit uh, year by year, but uh, is not uh, the, our main uh, product, of no. course. I can imagine with the Gatina uh, uh, in yes. front of you. But also, as I say, we, we are trying to find the best uh, uh, um, product for the characteristic of the grapes. Yeah. So we have uh, some grapes, some part of the vineyards that are uh, in the valley or uh, at the low, 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 in yes. the lower part of the hills. So we have more acidity, less sugar. Mm -hmm. no? The maturation is, uh, is not complete like in, uh, in, uh, in the, uh, up on the hill. So it's the best situation to produce something different. Because okay. we don't have uh, entrechance and and uh, polyphen polyphenols, uh, polyphenols, polyphenols yeah. um, to produce a Gatinara or a, a best red wine. Mm -hmm. So it's the perfect, perfect situation to produce this so kind of wine. So a certain part of the wine, winery is dedicated to this wine and yeah. the others, the best ones, yeah. go to the Gatinara. And the the best yeah. for the production of Gatinara. Of course. These, those are the best for the production of uh, Rosé. Okay. okay, thank you very much for the presentation of this uh, Rosato. Just, uh, uh, I, I uh, want to say just uh, uh, something yes. about the label. The name. Because the, the name is La Grazia. Mm -hmm. uh, Grazia was the first name of my mother. Oh, so okay. we, we decided to put uh, the, the, his na her name uh, on the label because uh, the, uh, her uh, last uh, Harvest was the first uh, that we produce uh, rosé. This is the first rosé? No. No, the, the, the other one. My mother's last uh, uh, harvest yeah. was the first okay. harvest of rosé. Okay. When we, when we produced the first uh, rosé. Okay. okay, I understand. That's why it's uh, La Grazia. Okay, thank you very much for the presentation of the rosato, rosé. Yeah. yeah? Ok, mettiamo tutto in una linea, nel senso, yes. sì, ok, voilà, just, uh, no, this one. So we have the Spanna, the Nebbiola, Costa della Sesia, La Crotta, please explain me. Ok, this is a, a very typical wine from this area because uh, the name uh, uh, tell us that uh, Spanna, as I told you, uh, Spanna is the name of the Nebbiolo grapes in, in Gatinara, in, the, mm -hmm. in Alto Piemonte. So, the Costa della Sesia DOC is the only way for me to put on the label uh, Spanna. That's why yeah. you can find Spanna here, no? Yeah. Because the Costa della Sesia is dedicated to, to produce uh, uh, Nebbiolo, younger Nebbiolo that you can call Spanna or Nebbiolo on the label. Mm -hmm. okay? yeah. But I produce Spanna because I have an old vineyard with old plants, with uh, I think uh, they are uh, 80, 90 years old. Wow. That is uh, the original Spanna. It's mm -hmm. the, a clone of a Nebbiolo uh, that you can find only in this area. No? Okay. That's why I produce uh, a Spanna. Also because on the barrel, when I, were, uh, when I was a child, uh, on the barrel of my grandfather was written Spanna 1996. Mm -hmm. Spanna 1996. And no, not Nebbiolo. Not, not and, and yeah. not Gatina. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the only na name we use for the Nebbiolo was Spanna. Okay. okay? Yeah. Uh, for me, it's very important. Uh, I, I'm, I, I feel uh, very attached to the, this kind of, uh, of name. Mm -hmm. And uh, I produce this wine with the same. Uh, selection of the grape of the Gatinara. Okay. So when I produce this wine, for me it's like produce uh, uh, if I produce uh, Reserva, Gatinara Reserva. And okay. also Gatinara... Uh, but uh, how do you make then the selection which is going to the Reserva and which is going to the no, this one? Uh, I uh, was uh, telling you this because uh, uh, Costa della Sesia uh, um, uh, allow you to produce more grape in the vineyards. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Reserva Gatinara uh, has a, a very straight uh, rules where uh, you can produce only uh, 80 
uh, eight ton of grapes per hectare, no? Okay. Yeah. And I produce uh, the spanna with the same rules. That's why I, uh, I, I, I'm telling you, because uh, I want to uh, uh, transfer you the information that uh, this wine, this wine is not something that I produce with uh, uh, bad uh, grapes or, mm -hmm. or uh, second selection. It's something that I want to produce uh, as one of the best wine for me in yeah. of okay. my production. Yeah. But uh, of course, it's a, a younger Nebbiolo, and uh, because it is only 2016, the vintage mm -hmm. of this one, the, mm -hmm. of, of this wine, um, and uh, we make uh, a short uh, maceration of the peels mm -hmm. because we don't want to extract too much from the peels. That, mm -hmm. me that means that you need a lot of time in the in the cellar to to be. Uh, to make the maturation of the wine, uh, mm -hmm. to make the, the tannin uh, more uh, delicate, uh, no? If you have a, a shorter um, uh, maceration, maceration uh, you can uh, sell the wine a little bit earlier. Okay. Yeah. But you, you preserve also the characteristic of the grape, because we use a lower temperature in fermentation and we make a, 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 an aging in a barrique mm -hmm. uh, already used. We, we buy the, this barrique from other producers mm -hmm. because we don't want to influence the wine with the taste of the, of the wood. No? Yeah, okay. The, the barrique are very, mm, gives to the wine the new barrick gives the wine very important uh, flavor and taste uh, to the wine. And we don't want uh, anything of this. We prefer to leave the wine uh, it, uh, with, the, uh, with his, its, his uh, uh, own characteristics. No? Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's uh, a very flexible wine also, because uh, you can pair with many, many things, also mm -hmm. with the uh, fish soup, because uh, there is a, a very good acidity, mm -hmm. minerality, and also uh, a, this very delicate, very delicate tannin. Mm -hmm. If I have someone at home that I don't know what, what is, uh, he likes uh, to drink, I for sure open one of these bottles because I'm sure he will like it. Okay, okay. thank you for the explanation of the Nebbiolo. We will pass to the Gattinara, the top production. Yeah. Uh, Gattinara il Butto. Yeah. And please go ahead with the explanation. So the Gattinara is also a very typical uh, wine uh, in this area. It's the one of, of the two DOCG that we have in, in North uh, Piemont. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, always uh, in the history it was part uh, compared to Barolo and Barbaresco. For sure we have a, a very old history, mm -hmm. more than Barolo, that uh, is uh, uh, a, 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 pro a product uh, a, that don't has a very long history. Mm -hmm. we, we know that uh, in this area there was uh, um, vine and vineyards uh, still uh, in uh, already in two, two thousand uh, years ago. Wow. So this is a hundred percent Nebbiolo mm -hmm. uh, that we produce uh, every year with the the best selection of the, of the grape. How many bottles? Uh, not for size. So no, no, no. The bottles way. are. Uh, also, for this product, we always grow a little bit every year because we, we take every year a piece of land. Mm -hmm. But uh, now we are uh, around uh, 6,500 bottles of, uh, of Gatinara. 6,500, okay. Yeah. Around, okay. Yes, yeah. because we have also a, a little production of uh, Reserva, but uh, mm -hmm. it's 2,500 bottles now. Mm -hmm. And we will sell it uh, in 2020. We will start to sell this. Uh, the 2020. Uh, so uh, we, we Belgians need to ke keep ready. Yeah. When the moment comes, yeah. that's online. Yeah. Okay, just 
uh, jump on it, yeah. so let's say. Yeah. yeah. So this is uh, an abiolo de percent, as I say, uh, where we, mm, we make uh, the, the fermentation uh, uh, at high, high temperature, as uh, we can say, because uh, 32 degrees is very high for, uh, for uh, mm -hmm. fermentation. And we make uh, a, a longer, a little bit longer uh, uh, maceration than uh, the, the span. Uh, also because uh, we want uh, to give to the wine uh, a structure, a complexity that uh, is uh, of course uh, very different uh, mm -hmm. compared to the younger Nebbiolo. Mm -hmm. uh, we can feel uh, for sure more tanning, but uh, also in this case uh, I always try to find uh, the best uh, um, balance with uh, tanning uh, and acidity, alcohol. If you if you find the, the balance, uh, I'm I'm sure that uh, the wine is uh, uh, can express uh, the their characteristic in the best way. Yeah. So, uh, my in my opinion, uh, the tanning is uh, important, but uh, uh, should be balanced with the with the, yeah. other, uh, with the other component. We make uh, a, a aging. Uh, for this wine, uh, 26 months in uh, uh, mm. oak, uh, oak barrels. Roasted? No, not roasted. Oak. Oak. Yeah. Oak barrels. Oak. Yeah. Yes, from Slavonia. That is a big yeah. forest in the ex Yugoslavia. Um, uh, what about that? Ah, okay. We, we also leave uh, the wine for uh, eight. 10 months in the bottle before selling the, the wine. Yeah. yeah, okay. And we have a stone over here. Yeah. This, this is, is more, most, very important because uh, this is the, 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 the structure of uh, our soil. No? The, our soil starts from uh, a stone, a rock. Yeah. A rock that uh, was uh, um, produced uh, from a super vulcan. Okay. No? Mm -hmm. We are uh, on uh, a UNESCO area mm -hmm. uh, for the super because of the super vulcan. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the only um, fossil of super vulcan that you can see in the world. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is very important for us also because uh, uh, when we discover this, we also understand. Uh, um, the most part of the characteristic of our, our wine because there is a lot of minerality this is a, a, a piece of porphyd and granite, and granite a little bit uh, that we can uh, find uh, in our vineyards very mm -hmm. often and uh, you can see also this little uh, uh, red uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, lock, I don't know how to say yeah. Uh, that is uh, uh, formed from uh, iron. iron, oxidation, oxi o oxidation? Oxidated, oxidated iron. Wow. That's why we, we, we say that uh, our wines are very important in uh, minerality. No? Minerality, also, yeah. which is much more the, 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 yeah. There are a lot of uh, different places where uh, you can find uh, iron in the, in the soil in mm -hmm. Italy. But the problem is that the plants can't uh, take uh, the, the, the iron from the ground, from the soil, mm -hmm. if uh, there is uh, a, 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 a lower acidity. Okay. Okay? Yeah. We have high acidity, that's why the plant can take also the, the iron as uh, alimentation, as yeah. something uh, from, from uh, his... Yeah. Uh, Oh, okay, thank you, Stefano, from uh, Cantina del Signore, Signore. Yeah. Gattinara, yeah. for this uh, explanation of the four wines, and of course, the terroir, which, because this is an expression of terroir, let's say, um, and we will uh, promote and sell these wines in Belgium. Thank you very much. Thank so, you. So, um, thank you very much. Uh, this is uh, the terroir expression and of course the four wines from Cantina del Signore, Gattinara, uh, just uh, 
in the center and outside of the center of Gatinara. Thank you. Thank you.